I'm Ben Barriger. Hey, I'm Thomas Cluck. And I'm Chase Phillips. I'm here today to talk to you about James Clark Maxwell. He was born in Edinburgh, Scotland. He lived in Cambridge, England. He was born June 13, 1831, and he would die November 5, 1879, when he was 48 years old in Cambridge, England. Maxwell did the majority of his work in England at the University of Edinburgh in Cambridge. Fun fact, he first taught his professor at the age of 25. So Maxwell wrote physics papers on the transformation of Earth's surfaces by the forces of bending and also on the physical nature of Saturn's rings. Um, and he completed this work at the Marischal College of Aberdeen in England, King's College of London, and for this he was actually awarded the Rumford Medal um, of Scientific Excellence in England for his work on Saturn. Maxwell displayed the world's first light-fast color photograph through his work and his studies on electromagnetic radiation and light force and spectrums. Maxwell proposed a system of defining physical quantities not now known as dimensional analysis. He examined his, the nature of both electric and magnetic fields in his two-part paper on physical lines of force, and he provided a, a conceptual model for electromagnetic inductions consisting of tiny spinning cells of mag magnetic flux. In his most famous physics paper on physical lines of force, two more parts were later added to and published in that same paper in early 1862. In the first additional part, he discussed the nature of electrostatic forces and displacement currents. In the second additional part, he dealt with the rotation of the plane of the polarization of light in a magnetic field, a phenomenon that had been discovered by another physicist, Michael Faraday, and is now known as the Faraday Effect. Maxwell taught at many universities and conducted his groundbreaking research among many other scientists and physicists. Most notably, he worked with Ludwig and Michael Faraday at different times. Maxwell was an evangelical Presbyterian and when older he later became an elder of the Church of Scotland. Growing up Maxwell attended both Church of Scotland services with his father and Episcopal masses with his mother in Scotland and England. <laughs> it was the 1860s, and while Maxwell was in England, in France, the really short Napoleon was looking to spread his empire across Europe through the Napoleonic Wars, and then in America, you had the abolitionist movement spreading, and the Civil War occurring also in the 1860s, and in England, while those two wars were happening, Maxwell was conducting groundbreaking research on electromagnetic radiation and physics. Want to know a fun fact about Maxwell? Maxwell was a poet and deep lover of Scottish sonnets and poetry. Maxwell wrote many poems, and his most famous was titled, Rigid Body Sings. Maxwell's most significant scientific achievement was his electromagnetic theory of light propagation, which he first presented in 1864 with the publication of A Dynamical Theory of the Electromagnetic Field. This paper hypothesized that an electric field, a magnetic field, and light could all be explained with the using of a single theory. Oh. Maxwell's discoveries on electromagnetic radiation were incredibly significant, not just in the 1860s and through that century, but also in the 20th and 21st centuries and to, the, to today. Maxwell's electromagnetic theory of light propagation eventually paved the way for a number of major technological innovations. The first and possibly most significant of these occurred in 1888 when Henrik Hertz used Maxwell's theory to create instruments capable of sending and receiving radio pulses through radiation. This discovery contributed to the, op to the creation of television and the microwave, and without Maxwell's tireless efforts, many of the modern conveniences upon which society has come to depend on would not exist today. 
He was the first person ever to produce a color photograph, and he used my mathematics to explain Saturn's rings over a hundred years before the Voyager spacecraft confirmed that he was absolutely correct in his findings. Clark Maxwell's research into electromagnetic radiation led to the development of telefo telefo television, mobile phones, radio, and infrared, infrared telescopes, upon which we've discovered tons about the world and the planets we see today. The largest astronomical telescope in the world at Mauna Kea Ob Ob Observatory in Hawaii is named in his honor, and without Maxwell's tireless efforts on physics and with electromagnetic radiation, we would not know and have the technological privileges and developments that we have had today that have revolutionized society. Okay, are we done, y'all? My, oh, my phone. No. Get your phone out of here. I say again. Maxwell <laughs> <laughs> like, wrote physics papers on the transformation of surfaces through like the. So Maxwell wrote physics papers on the transformation of surfaces across Earth by forces of bending. It's black now. <laughs>